Hey folks, Brian, we got to play Eldorath tonight. We had a conflict between Saturday night and couldn't do Friday night either, so we did it <coughs> today. Uh, when we last left the adventurers, they had uh, gone on to cavern number I, which is a natural cavern. Um, and it's kind of going north-ish, so we went that direction, thinking that there's got to be a connection to the secret door from the other caverns we were in, because they're kind of this direction, right? Then we go north and we come to a side cave uh, that's covered in black bat guano, right? And then it actually curves back around <coughs> and connects. Then we go north -ish again, and then northeast-ish, and um, we spot a body on the ground. We move up, there's a dead bugbear, so it's all charred on one side. And at that, um, a bunch of, well, a bunch, four, four uh, giant beetles come scampering our direction to kind of do a, a semicircle around the area where we are in the dead bugbear and us and um the uh when they set up like that uh wes jumps back dodge and trying to get around the corner everybody else kind of backs up out of the way because there's something obviously weird going on here um because they're all you know facing towards us and they all get together and um they end up spraying this flaming goo out of their foreheads um, into the area where we, we were and the dead bugbear's body is. Um, and so there's this, this like 15, 20 foot radius, that must be 15 foot radius, um, pool of flaming goo. Um, Hjalmar um, was, was caught in that, so we had to make a save to get out of there. She only took a couple points of damage, but it's, you know, flaming goo, so it's still stuck on him, causing damage. Um, Everybody else was out of the out of the range. Uh, Raymond uh, comes slinging around the corner over the uh, goo to the piece of the cavern where Wes is, and then Hjalmar follows him, follows him in in trace, and then um, Runt kind of just kind of backs up his direction around the corner to, to hide and get out of the way, and another another um, uh, beetle comes from the north. And uh, squirts out some of his goo that comes across the pile. So there's another little teeny pile of goo on our side by the cavern. And then the beetles start to climb the walls. They are get, you know, past the fire, right? So uh, Wes, when, well, Wes was planning to casting um, sleep in the first place. Um, so he cast sleep and only one of them, the one on the far end, fell asleep. So he falls. Um, and the two come across the top. Um, when Wes sees them coming towards him, he, he decides, okay, I need to back up out of here. So he's got a change of intent plus time and that kind of thing. So by the time this, this, the uh, Beatles are actually on him, he's actually got to stop and do a, a defend kind of thing so he can disengage at the end of the round, which is what he does. So he disengages at the end of the round. He casts Sleep again, and it gets the three of the four that are left. Because number seven was it? On the far side, was coming around, and so those are out. Um, so Raymond is fighting against uh, a beetle, and then Runt comes around, sees the beetle, and goes to attack from this end. Um, and then uh, Hjalmar crushes his uh, the beetle that's in front of him in the head. Uh, aim shot for a couple rounds, ends up taking it out. Uh, Wes does a coup de gras type, you know, dispatch the creature deal on the one in front of him. Next round moves forward, dispatches that one, um, and that's when uh, Hjalmar got his final kill on, on his. Um, at this point, the fire seems to have gone out, and uh, Wes moves forward to help Raymond and Runt with the beetle they're fighting, and he got an impale in the thorax, if I remember right. Um, and so he does a massive amount of damage and, and ends up killing it. <clears throat> so they, they go back, um, check out the bugbear body. He's got a hand axe. Hjalmar misses with it and figures, hey, this is, you know, nicely balanced, extra damage kind of stuff. So it's just a plus one weapon. Um, and then we check out a couple of quarters eggs in this place and the one to the north, you know, stops, um, and so we're kind of figuring, hey, this is what we need to check on. So we check that for a secret door. Uh, Raymond finds it, and we get Runt up there to do his, his, um, 
shoot, I forgot the name of the skill, but there's a skill he's using to try and figure out how to actually open the door. Um, and he is successful. So it opens up into a, a hallway cavern area that connects back to that other room. Um, on this side of the secret door is, in fact, the tiled ground like uh, the other side, like the, the the other area was. And sure enough, there's a chest there. And it's got a couple of potions in it. There's you know, some copper and some silver. And a bolt of fabric that was says, hey, this is silk. And it's nice dark blue and has a wavy pattern, kind of like water. Interesting. Um, so going back, we try to cut out some of the areas we had missed and are further on going around. And we ended up getting lost-ish, right? Wander around in the dark. Wes has a flashlight out. Runt's got the torch. And so maybe the two of us are trying to, okay, we've been this way before. We end up coming back to where we killed two giant beetles earlier. We grab one of those, or Raymond grabs one of those and brings it down to where we had entered the Zarian. He puts them there. Okay, so we know if we crash this beetle, we've already done all the stuff north of here. And then he, um, and we continue on south-ish, uh, you know, wander around a bit, and then we find this large cave. And uh, Wes is to the north, kind of flashing south while they're all kind of looking around. And this creature sneaks up on Wes. And it's a goat-headed giant beast sort of thing. It's got a battle axe in one hand and a spear in the other. And he gets a, a surprise round of attacks on Wes. Both of which hit. Both of which Wes fails to parry. Um, so we got hit in the abdomen. Um, which is actually his most armored position. Uh, so that helped. But still, it brought him down to just one hit point in his abdomen. And then the uh, other one got him in the leg and took him down. He was negative two in the leg. Um... So next round, he fires off his stored lightning bolt into the creature and is doing the defense thing for a round and then does disengage so he can back out and get out of the way. Because uh, the location where Wes is and where the creature is, there's a, a, you know, a tight point. There can only be one person there at a time kind of thing. There's a guy coming up. Um, uh, Runt has, hands the spear off to um, Yalmar so he could use you know the distance thing to, to get at the creature. Uh, but at the end of the round, when Wes disengages, the creature also disengages and goes off the other direction. So Wes backs up. Raymond does heal on him twice, which gets him all the way back up. And Runt and Shalmar you know, chase af after the, the creature. Now, Wes's lightning bolt, the one he had stored as a rune in his staff, um, turned out to be a special success. So it did an impale. It did a D6 plus 6. Um... Which was, he rolled a four. So it was 10 points of damage to the right arm. So it ended up dropping his battle axe. Um, and that's, you know, I guess why it ran off. Ran off. So they're trying to track the, the blood and that kind of stuff. And <clears throat> after a couple of rounds, they're starting to actually search, which takes time. So by that time, Wes and Raymond are done doing their, you know, healing up. And so they come forward we're all together. And we go up a little further looking around. We, we, and we lost the trail at one point. So we go, okay, this is enough. Let's not worry about this so much. Go back to where we were, that big cavern. We kind of searched through it again. There's a passage around the south. And uh, we followed that down and around. And as they're going by, Wes notices that there's this large rock um, and, uh, against the wall that's got, like, dirt. It's been, it looks like it's been moved because of the, the dirt on the ground. And then uh, Raymond tries to move it. It's not successful. So uh, Hjalmar goes to help him, and they're not successful. They actually try twice. Um and at this point, obviously trying to do something continuously, you get subtractions. And so um, Raymond says, hey, Ryan, why don't you and Wes try to move it? And Wes has only got 10 strength. And everybody else is like, you know, 15, 17, that kind of thing. So <laughs> what help is Wes going to be? Uh, but they get up there and we try once, nope, uh, twice, nope. Oh, we actually got the full, uh, the, we went back, got the battle axe that the creature dropped and used as a, a fulcrum to try and get it open. And no, no joy. Uh, that's where we had to end the session. It was kind of a short session, but we had a, an oddball um sort of uh, timing situation because of uh, it being Sunday and all. Well, that's what we decided to stop. We'll just hold off right there um, and figure out what we're going to try to do with this giant rock and still keep our eye out for the goat-headed monster creature uh, for next time. Happy gaming.